This is Jake Gustafson from Granada Hill Science Bowl, and you're watching Science Bowl Channel. You have to ask a question. It's like, are you nervous? I'm never nervous. You're never nervous. Yeah. Hi, I'm Philip McGillick. I'm on a team in Science Bowl. Um, I study Earth Science, and I think my greatest flaw is knowing when not to buzz and stepping back so my teammates can show their skills. Andrew, are you ready? Great team, are you ready? Then I'll set up. All right, toss up for both teams. So I am Hannah. I am on team A. Um, I've been on science school since like 10th grade, I want to say. Uh, my name is Eric Choi. I am in 10th grade now. And I am in team A of science school. And um, I am studying math and chemistry. Something I struggle a lot with is time management and bad Okay, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and take our places here. You have a considerably older and less good looking moderator, but we're gonna do our best, okay? Toss up question physics, short answer. So the rules of Science Bowl are quite simple. First, the moderator reads a toss up question that is worth four points. Push or a pull, interrupt, uh, be captain, force. That is correct. Four points, team B. The bonus question is physics, short answer. If someone on your team answers the toss up correctly, then your team gets to collaborate on a slightly more difficult bonus question, which is worth 10 points. Circle. Centripetal. That is correct. 10 points, please, for team B. Hi, my name is Joseph Kim, and I'm a freshman at Granada, and I study Earth and Space Science. Ozzy? See, I didn't get that. Okay, wait. Hi, I'm Jake Kostovsid. Uh I'm on Team B and study Physics and Math. I'm in 12th grade, and uh, I've been on Science Bowl for two years now. Uh, my greatest flaw on Science Bowl is whatever my teammates think my greatest flaw is, and uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Hi, I'm Shreyan Chowdhury. I'm in grade 9. This is my first year of Cybol. I study physics and math, and I'm on TV. A1. So my name is Brendan. Uh, I'm in 10th grade, and this is my second year on science team. I think my greatest flaw is the fact that I um, would rather sleep most days. Um. Hi, my name is Cynthia. I'm in 12th grade and I'm the biology and organic chemistry person on science school. On B team. Am I captain? I'm gonna be captain. <laughs> Brennan sit in front. Okay. Uh, biology, short answer. Name all of the following four plants that produce seeds with a fleshy covering that are eaten by animals and disturbed, dispersed in their droppings. Apple, orchid, cherry, uh, sphagnum moss. Uh, uh, cherry is one of them. Apple and cherry. Uh, Have cherry. you ever Ooh. had something called, what was the last one? Ooh. Sphagnum moss? Yeah. Have you ever had a moss? No. Moss? moss? Oh, so it's going to be apple and cherry. Yeah. Wait, apple has a fleshy covering. Well, Dude. you can eat it. Oh, shoot. It's the flavor. But it's like, right? if the seed has the, I don't oh, know. Uh, Just cherry. Like, That's incorrect. Well, wait, Jake, I have a Ooh. question. Have you ever eaten an apple before? It's so hard. Jake, you know, I need the fruit one. Yes, it's the fruit. I believe you. Kill me. My name's Jeannie Chips, and I'm the coach of the Granada Hills Charter High School Science Bowl team. One of the things that I love about 
Science Bowl is watching students grow over the course of a year. The scrimmage in particular, I think, really brought us together and made us realize what we needed to do to prepare for the actual competition. And the students really took on the challenge and showed a lot of improvement from the scrimmage to the actual competition. Flashback to winter break when we studied at CSUN Sierra Hall. Uh, B2. Crustacean. That is incorrect. Um, B2. X. That is also incorrect. The correct answer is Z. Sometimes Arthur buzzes OCHEM or BIO when he doesn't know the answer. Organic chemistry, and I got organic chemistry, so don't worry. My name is Arthur San. I'm in 10th grade. I am on B team at the Granada Science team, and I study BIO and ESS. Hello, so my name is Dylan Lee. Um, I'm in 12th grade. Uh, I'm on A team. Um, I've been on the team since I was in my freshman year. Uh, I study physics, a little bit of time, and astronomy. The way this works is I'm going to read a question, and then I'm going to ask you a question about the question, and you have to buzz in to answer that. And then only if you get that correct can you actually answer the original question, okay? Um, well, your training is really difficult. What's the fifth word in the question? <laughs> Philip. Following? No. Cynthia. <laughs> is. Yeah. W, nuclear, X, wind, Y, biomass, Z, geothermal. W. That's the correct, the correct answer is wind. Sometimes I have trouble listening to the question and I miss the entire thing. It's not something I'm proud of. What was the equation? Uh, Arthur. Two open bracket, X minus, open parentheses, three X plus one, close parentheses, close bracket equals four minus two X. Good, what's the answer? <laughs> Competition Day, February 22nd, 2020. Going into the first round, I, was, uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I felt prepared, I knew. No. Hello. Oh, wait, you're here. Hello. Everybody's nice over the case. <laughs> so we just lost against Lasis, and I got really sad because I got no questions. And I was basically useless in that entire match. But Jake was like, it'll be fine. Well, well, we can do better next game. Going into the first round, I was admittedly more than a little worried. I felt really nervous because I felt like the expectations were really high. Okay, so we're expecting this round to be the toughest in our bracket since it's against El Camino. They did temperature heat error. We all made mistakes. <laughs> So I've been kind of studying reviewing in between rounds. It's kind of unfortunate because Dylan got this math question wrong because he didn't simplify correctly. Oh, so you didn't simplify. Like, is that the same thing? They did oh, no. say it's 139. So it's only 13 got. If you said that, you probably <laughs> said the challenge. Okay. So round six, we're up against Van Nuys B, who we have faced in scrimmages before. But maybe there are planes, but they <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'm mountains. Mountains. That is correct. Yeah. 10.4 KB. I mean, a good strategy is always just, you know, like tossing around random ideas that might pop in your head. Since Team V got two losses, we're going into tie breaks. Going into tie breakers, I was actually very nervous. Oh, I was really nervous for tie breaks because we were really close to getting into the comp, like out of round robins. Uh, terrible, because I was the one that got the one that got the question wrong. All I knew is that this was this was either the first or the last tie break or like last round that we do today. Obviously, it was the last round. So even if you don't make it out of round robins, it's okay because there's a second hands-on competition that comes after where teams who didn't make it out of round robins compete through puzzles and building, and it's really fun because it tests collaboration. One of these back in there. After making it out of round robins, this is our first double elimination round against Palisades. Three halves x squared e to the two x plus e to the two x. Incorrect. The answer is e. Why? Some matches come down to the last question, so it's a really big relief when you get it correct. We're facing Laces A now, so we're feeling really nervous. Like Jake, I don't Wait, know if we win this, do we go to stage? Yes. Six I plus four J plus two K. Incorrect. The answer is six I plus four J minus two K.
why did I join Science Bowl? Uh, so basically the person behind the camera dragged me into one of the meetings and I thought it was really fun, so I joined. As the person behind the camera, I dragged my brother to science team and I thought it was really fun. If it hadn't been for a science team, I don't think I would have met a lot of the people that I know and I'm close with today. I decided to join because I found my potential. I like Science Bowl because I find it really fun to participate in. So from Science Bowl, I've learned to trust myself more and trust in others more. It's how to quickly and concisely communicate with others. Empathy. Communication, teamwork. Before I used to hate math, now because of Science Bowl, I actually started to like math now. That I should communicate to my teammates more. Giving all to your team. How you can trust your teammates. To never trust Jake! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Confidence.